This power has no counter. Indeed, a human cannot take a monster's soul. When a monster dies, its soul disappears. And an incredible power would be needed to take the soul of a living monster. There's only one exception. The soul of a special species of a monster called a boss, boss monster. The boss monster's soul is strong enough to persist after death. If only for a few moments. A human could absorb this soul, but this has never happened. And now it never will. It's a statue. The structures at its feet seem dry. Please take one. Take an umbrella? Yeah. I took an umbrella. Now to solve this mystery. Put the umbrella on the statue? Yeah. Ah, this song. Place the umbrella atop the statue. So the statue music box begins to play. Oh! I get it. Oh, let me write it down. Let me write this down. Need to write it down. Okay. Um, it, that depends. As this, are the spoilers after Asgore, or is this, or the spoilers genocide? Because I haven't played the genocide route yet. I've played the pacifist route, but not the genocide one. So, if it's genocide, please no spoilers. See if I can do this. There's a piano here. Yeah, let's play it. Yeah. This magical treasure. Oh, wait a second. I think I have something here. It's a legendary artifact. Will you take it? Carrying too many dogs. Why'd I have to carry a dog? Why? Annoying dog. Dog. A little white dog. It's fast asleep. Yeah. See what happens if I use the dog. You deployed the dog. Ah, dang it. The dog absorbs the artifact. Ruff, ruff, ruff. The artifact is gone. And there's nothing I can do here. Totally pointless. So. Let's get scooting on along. Oh, it's distance based. Nice. I'm just wondering about that statue, though, and what it means. That's a bit of a funny headcanon. Let's take an umbrella because we're fancy. Mm, yes. Get plenty of money for this fancy, fancy umbrella. Mm, yes. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Let's go!
I wonder, is there anything in your little cubby? Nope. Let's go, monster kid. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. Knowing she was going to beat me up. <laughs> yeah. So, one time, we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking. Yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to school? She could beat up all the teachers. I wonder if I can get to that flower. Dance with me, kid. Dance with me. Um, uh, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers. She's too cool to ever hurt any innocent person. Look at that castle. It is so fancy. But whose castle is it? Could it be Mr. Dreamer's? Yo, this ledge is way too steep. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Put up your umbrella and climb on my shoulders. Yep, let's put back the umbrella. Alright. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. This is more dim than I remember. The humans, afraid of our power, declared war on us. They attacked suddenly and without mercy. The serene sound of a distant music box. It fills you with determination. What a foul bridge. In the end, it could hardly be called a war. United, the humans were too powerful, and us monsters too weak. Not a single soul was taken, and countless monsters were turned to dust. This can only mean good things. Yeah, nothing down here. Oh, right, well, a couple pirates where? I just totally missed where to call papyrus. Uh. Let's call papyrus. Seems like the phone kissing connection is getting weak. Better not go past that point. Let's call papyrus. Papyrus. There's no response. Papyrus? Uh oh. Here we go again. I remember this part. Hey, Undyne! Yeah, like a pro. Dang it. Ah, where do I go? Ah, 
Ah, uh, tell him totally lost. Oh, wait a second. Ah, no. Okay, I think I'm going somewhere. Yeah, like a boss. Ah, not like a boss. I should never say that. Okay. We're at that point. I've been cut off. It sounds like it came from over here. Yeah, now that I've played it, I actually know who this is. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Jester, huh? That's a nice name. My name is... Now, I want to say what my headcanon is, but... I haven't played Genocide. I just know it has to do with the character that has to do with Genocide. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Just garbage. Garbage. A trash heap. Your persistent garbage habit shows no signs of payoff. <laughs> it knows. Trash. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. Okay. Nothing to see here. Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands you recognize. The waterfall here seems to flow from the ceiling of the cavern. Occasionally, a piece of trash will flow through and fall into the bottomless abyss below. Viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage, it fills you with determination. Yeah, the trash zone. Uh, let's see if Papyrus can answer me. Ah, right, no response. I'm gonna do genocide because I want to know the story and when I want to save you know who Piles of garbage. There are quite a few brands blah 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 You rest your hand on the rusted bike its horn wheezes a honk of despair <laughs> That doesn't sound like despair it sounds like a honk of joy Just garbage a beat-up desktop computer. The inside is empty. Someone gutted it. Garbage. It's a cooler. It has no brand and shows no signs of wear. Inside are a couple of freeze-dried space food bars. Take one. Um. Sure. Uh, no, I'm carrying too much. Dang it. Uh, drop the knife. Because I don't need it. The knife was thrown away. Get the space food bar. And I get the astronaut food. It's a DVD case for an anime. It probably belongs to Alphys. Desperate claw marks cover the edges. Yep. 
Yeah. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? No. You stare in each other's eyes for a moment. I wonder what happens if I go ahead. Oh. Regardless. The dummy.